David Schick from TAP Systems Inc. And I'm going to show you um, a little bit about our learning system. I'm going to explain how it's organized and how uh, the learning process works. And I think you'll see once I, I show you this, uh, you'll understand why it is actually very, very easy to learn how to tap. What we do is we break down the alphabet into groups, groups of letters, which correspond to finger tap sets. So for example, uh, AEIOU is the first chapter, uh, and the finger set is one finger down. So that means A is your thumb, E is your index finger, and then I, O, U, like that. And uh, all of this is shown in a tutorial. So in the AEIOU round, there's a tutorial which I'm going to skip because I essentially just told you what the, what the tutorial is going to tell you. Then it goes to a practice round in which it shows you exactly what the position that each finger has to be when you tap it. You go through this a couple of times, and then you get to a game play round. What the game play round does is it just shows you a letter and all you have to do is tap the letter before it hits the bottom of the screen. So. Now, th this is something that we do in the middle of the game is we introduce characters which are not part of the alphabet. So this is how we teach space. It says, this is space, tap all fingers. So just to tap all of your fingers, you tap space. And then it continues with the gameplay round. Now, AEIOU is obviously very easy. Now we have to start teaching the other letters. So the next set is called NTLS, which are the most common consonants that are used in English. And the set there is two fingers together. So you tap two adjacent fingers. And I'll show you what the, uh, how the tutorial works. Uh, and you'll see that we introduce another element, which is a mnemonic device, a device that allows you to remember this very easily. So here it is. Okay, so, so once you've done that, you go through the practice round for NTLS, which is, as we said, just two fingers adjacent, N-T-L-S, like that. And then um, I'm actually gonna show you um, a, a more advanced round, so you'll see that once you get here, you actually are doing words already. Um, so, at, Like that. And as you go through the remaining chapters, uh, it introduces more letters. I'll just show you one more chapter so you'll get a feel for what, uh, how this works. DMZ, here's the tutorial for DMZ, and it'll, it'll show you what the finger combination D is. M Z. Two fingers, skipping one. Tap fingers one and three, two and four, and three and five. So now, to do DMZ, all you have to remember is don't mess with zombies and that it's two fingers skipping one. And, um, and, and that's pretty much how it goes. Now, if you think about it, just in showing you those first three rounds, you've already learned half of the alphabet. You've learned 13 out of the, the 26 letters and you've learned space. There, besides the alphabet, we also teach 
um, some of the special characters. So there's a round for shift, delete, switch. Shift is, of course, uppercase, delete is delete. And switch takes you into, a, into numerical mode where you can enter numbers and number associated characters. Uh, and then we have a round that teaches numbers, which is very straightforward. And then in order to gain proficiency, we have two practice modes. Uh, the first one is called endless mode. Um, and the way that this works is that it just continuously gives you words. And you have three lives and you just play until you lose. And this is a great way to get proficiency really quickly. Okay, and the last part of the game is called Speed Challenge, and this is very close to how you actually write text. Um, in, this, in this challenge, what it does is it times your tapping for one minute, and then it gives you a words per minute score. So I'll just do it for a few seconds. Like that. And, and you just do this for a minute, it gives you a score. And this is really a great way to, to get proficient. Uh, between these two practice rounds, it allows you to come up to speed really quickly. Um, we find that it takes about five hours of practice of whatever form, either using the game or just writing texts or uh, doing whatever you want to do with TAP uh, until you really are proficient.